Hello, my crafty loving friend, Shelly here from Repurpose My Way. And today we're going to do some fun stuff with molds in my last, in clay molds. With my last uh, video that I did of my thrift haul, I showed you at the end of it, my fun to new toy, which is my uh, chicken rooster, little chick, I don't know, it's got all kinds of stuff on it, um, clay mold. And I have been waiting forever for this from Amazon. So I'm so glad that I have it now and I've been making all kinds of molds with it. And I want to do something with that tonight. Now also in that thrift haul, I showed you this cute little tea kettle. This thing is adorable, it's really cute, but I wanna make it more my design. This is not mine. Uh, I wanna make it something that'll, that'll, that I will like for my decor, so. I also dug out this other one from Wilton. This, these molds are more for chocolate, but you can use them for clay molds. And um, so I have this one and I really like this beaded mold right here. I use this a lot, so I'll be using that a lot today. So I have already started making some of my molds. This is my hen that I'm going to use right on to my, my teapot here. So I'm um, gonna take the top off. Now this guy was, it says it was $4 in the store, but on my thrift haul, if you go back and watch, I got this out of the free box because sometimes they have stuff they just wanna get rid of, get off the shelf, it's not selling. They throw it in that free box and I went through and that was there. So I said, I wanna do something with this. So I have my air dry modeling clay that I am going to use. And you really should keep it sealed up, but I took it out so that I could show you the package um, and show you what it looks like in case you're interested in getting some. So we're gonna start out, I'm making these, the uh, beads, I guess, for the top and maybe, maybe the bottom, I'm thinking, on this, um, on this teapot. So, First, I'm going to set where my hen is gonna go, and I've got my glue gun over here. Hopefully, that'll hold it enough. So I'm gonna find the middle on that, and I'm going to glue it like around the edges. And see, hopefully, if it'll work. Try that, and then I want to get it right. I want to show you guys what it, I'm doing here. I want to get it right in the middle, and then I've made a couple of pieces of the beads here, and I'm going to do the same. Put some glue. I'm going to put a really good amount, and then I'm going to put it along the top as straight as I can get it, right along the edge. That's good. Now I got a little piece that broke off and we'll go ahead and attach that. I think it's that side. No, it isn't, it's this side. And I'm just gonna get the glue to go right down in the, in the cracks. So it's kind of messy right now, but once you paint it, you're not gonna see it. And that's the good thing about primitive decor is for me anyway, is it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so now I think what we'll do is we'll go on to painting. So I have the Waverly uh, ink chalk paint, uh, it's black basically, and I'm going to paint this whole thing black, believe it or not. It's probably gonna take a few coats.
now that I've got the two coats of black on the teapot and on the top, I'm going to take burgundy chalk paint that I mixed up myself and put that on and give that one coat and see how that comes out. So here you go. There is the burgundy teapot. So we can get that on there. There it is, a little rough looking. I'm gonna take a baby wipe and we're gonna try and get some of this black to come back through. So we're gonna try and get rid of some of this burgundy on top. But I don't want it to go down to the white, so we're not gonna Go all the way. We're not gonna rub too, too hard, I hope. We'll just come back to the white part. And mainly we wanna get this rooster guy a little bit to come through. And peel some of that back. We'll do some of the little beading. Oh yeah, that's working good. Do some of the edges. Oh, that came through the white. That's not what I wanted. Well, I guess that's what you get. I should have sealed it in between the two different colors. And I did not. So it's my fault if it comes through. If I rub too hard and it comes through. I'm gonna do some of the handle and make it look roughed up. So now I'm gonna take some of this black and see if I can cover up the white. It doesn't have to be totally covered. <clears throat> you see on the handle there? So I'm just getting it with the black. There to dry, and we'll work on this lid a little bit. Oh, yeah, that worked out good. So what you're doing is going back over that paint and reactivating it and pulling it off. And now if I push down too, too hard, uh, it takes it down to the white. But if I just take it just a little rubbing, it goes down to the black. And you just get little spots here and there. And then if I go down to the white where I don't want it, which I did in one spot here, I'll show you. There. Hopefully you can see where I've rubbed that. See where I've rubbed it off and there's a little white spot there, there, and there. So I'm just gonna take this, a little bit of black paint on this brush and cover those up. We're going for distressed anyway, so 
it's okay. And really, I could have just done that, painted it burgundy, and just gone around and done that anyway. All right, so I'm going all over this with clear wax. And then once the clear wax is dry, I'm gonna go back over it with white wax over just certain parts of it. The, um, the beads around there and then the chicken in the middle um, and try and make that pop out just a little bit more. that back gently because it will reactivate that paint have it come back through we don't want that it's already started Now that's sealed, my white paint's coming through again, but that's okay, because I'm gonna be putting white wax on there, so that's all right. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit and dry, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna take some white Waverly wax, and we're going to put it just on my little rooster, or chicken, I guess, is what I put on there. What did I put on there? The rooster. All right. So we're just going to put the white wax on him. And hope that it gets down in those crevices. And makes them pop a little bit. Here we go, and then we're gonna do a little bit around here. Now we put the white wax, uh, the clear wax on there so that we can pinpoint where we want this, this white wax. And that way when you wipe it back, you can control how much you want on the spots that you put it on. If you don't want it on any spot at all, you can pretty much take it off. There we go. Now, I'm gonna try and take it off. Just take it back a little bit. We don't need a lot. Being gentle. beads. You know, I got it on here, but I really didn't want it down there as much. So you just try and wipe it back a little bit. There we go. Yeah. And then I'm going to I'm going to lay it down so everybody can see and I can see. All right. I'm gonna wipe this guy back and just hope it brings out the detail. And that's gonna dull a little bit as it dries. So I'm taking what's left on my brush 
on here because I don't really like that stark, stark white. And I'm just going over where I waxed it and leaving some of the white wax, but I'm going back over and dulling it out with the black, just what's left on my brush. I didn't put any more on there than I had already. And I'm just going over it and it's just leaving a nice black finish on it. And so I'm gonna have to go back over it with some sealer. Um, but that shouldn't shouldn't be too bad with that. But I just was not happy with it. I got looking at it and it was too, too bright white and I didn't like that. So now I'm taking some just different colors, different strips of ribbon and I'm going to put it on the top. So we're just doing that. And in no particular order, we can get it to lay flat. Actually, that's the top. We're gonna do that, do that. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna cut a little piece of this off. Go right around it. All right, so we just tie that on the middle and we're just gonna let them just kinda go every which way, just spread it out. Get it out like that. And then we're gonna put it on there like that with the glue gun. And there we go. the makeover and if you did and you'd like to see some more clay mold projects click here and here and thanks for watching